How's it going guys? Chips here with you again back with another ARC Let's Build video and in today's video we're going to be building this direwolf pen that you see in front of you now. For those of you who are new to the channel this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with voiced over instructions so you can get this build on your ARC. And make sure you check the description below for a full list of building materials as well as the map cords where I built this. And I have reworked this build from an older version on the channel so that it'll now work 100% on official settings. So anyways guys, with all of that said, I just want to go ahead and tell you thank you so much for being here today checking out the video. And let's go ahead and let's get to building. Alright, so we're going to start off by placing down our foundation. So first we're going to add two rows of three stone foundations. Then continuing on this side, we'll place a row of three thatch foundations. And then we'll finish it off with two more rows of three stone. Then once you have those placed, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy the thatch and switch all of the stone to block. Next, we're going to start adding our pillars. So we're going to start here on our leftmost side. We're going to place a wooden fence foundation here on the side of this foundation. And then we'll go ahead and place one stone pillar on that and add one wood pillar on top. We're going to place another wooden fence foundation right here in the middle. Now it is important to remember which side of these foundations you snap this to. Go ahead and again add one stone and one wooden pillar. We'll add one more wooden fence foundation right here on this side. And again add one stone and one wood pillar. We're going to come around to the other side and do the same thing. And we want to make sure that we get this middle fence foundation in the same line as the original one we placed. So right here. Now we're gonna go ahead to our other platform over here and duplicate that process. Again, make sure when you do the middle foundation that you keep them in line with each other. Now that we have both of those platforms done, the next thing we're gonna do is come right here between them and we're gonna snap another stone pillar right here on the ground and this will be snapping in line with that pillar. We'll do the same thing right here for this pillar. And then we'll just go ahead and add a wooden pillar on top of each of those. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add in some double door frames. So starting here on the front on one of our sides, we're gonna go ahead and place a stone double door frame right here in the middle. We're also gonna place one here on the side. Now just make sure you're getting the snap point that is on the foundation and not the fence foundation. So just like that, we'll add another one right here. And we'll go ahead and do that on the back side as well. Now here on the side, you can go ahead and place another one on each of these and then add a wooden double door frame on top of them. And go ahead and do that on the opposite side. And now you can just go ahead to this other platform and just duplicate what we just did. All right, next we're gonna come in here in front of these stone double door frames and place a thatch ceiling down in front of each one. Then we're gonna get out a stone railing and we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get this one right here. Go ahead and place that down. Go ahead and do that on these other two as well. And then go ahead and pick up or destroy these thatch ceilings. So now we're gonna go ahead and do that on the back side as well as on both sides of that platform as well. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get out a sloped thatch wall and place one on top of each of these stone double door frames. Go ahead and do that over here on the back as well and also do it on our other two sides on our other platform. Now we're gonna go ahead and get out a thatch ceiling and place one in front of each of these walls right here. Then we will get out a stone railing 
And again, we will rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. So that you get one that looks like this, go ahead and place it down and do that two more times right here and right here. Go ahead and destroy these thatch ceilings. And then lastly, we will get out a wooden wall and we will replace those sloped thatch walls with our wooden wall. So you will have something that looks like this. So go ahead and do that on the back side and then the other two sides as well. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and work on the inside of our build. So we're gonna head in here between where we have these two pillars on the middle, and we're gonna add a wooden double door frame right here on this middle foundation. We'll add another one right here next to it, and another one on the other side, and then add one more on top of each of those. Go ahead to our other platform and do the same thing over here. All right, next we're gonna start working on our roof. So we're gonna come in here where we have these wooden double door frames and on these two right here where they meet, we're gonna add a wooden catwalk on top of them. We're gonna continue taking wooden catwalks across until we reach the same point on the other platform. So right here. Then we're gonna come to these middle four pillars where we have these wooden ones on top and we're gonna add one more wood on top of each of these. Then with those pillars added, we'll come in between these two pillars right here and get out a wooden fence foundation. And we need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you have it facing like this. So go ahead and place that down. Get another one right here and again, rotate it and place it and do that one more time right here. Then on top of each of those, we're going to add one stone railing and one wooden railing. Now, continuing on with our roof, we're gonna head to one of our sides over here, and on this middle pillar, we're gonna place two more wooden pillars. So just like this. Then we will add the appropriate sloped wooden wall to each side. Go ahead to our other end and do the same thing. Then you can go ahead to our inside wall right here and add a sloped wooden wall on each one of these and do the same thing on the other side. Then we will come back to where we have these wooden double door frames and we're gonna place one more on top of each of these on both sides. Then just go ahead and again, get out wooden catwalks and take another line of catwalks going across. Once we have those catwalks placed, we're gonna to come to this pillar right here and add one more on top of it and do that on the opposite side as well, right here. And now with all of those placed, we can go ahead and take sloped wooden roofs all the way across our build, leaving only this middle section open. And then the final step to finish off the roof is we're just gonna add the appropriate sloped wooden wall on each one of these pillars, right in front of each one of these pillars so that it points inward towards the pillar. All right, so we just have a few more things to do to finish off the build. So the first thing is to come in here where our entrance is and place two stone stairs right here. We'll go ahead and do that on the other side of this one. And then also go ahead and do that on both sides of this one. Then once you have all those stone stairs placed, the last thing to do is come in between these two pillars right here in the middle. Go ahead and get out a feeding trough and just kind of try to line this up as best you can. Now you could use a wooden ladder if you want to line it up perfectly, but it's really not that important to line it up absolutely perfect. Just place it down right there in the middle. 
All right, guys, that is going to do it for the building portion of this video. Now, for these older builds that I'm redoing with official settings, at least for the smaller ones, I'm just going to do the paint and decorations myself because your monkey obviously has her own channel that she has stuff to do on, and I don't want to bog her down too much with work. So, guys, I'm going to try to do my best. I might not be as good as her, but stick around for one more second, and I will show you guys what I come up with. All right, guys, so like I said, I've gone ahead and added some paint and decorations here just to spruce it up a little bit. So on the paint, I have painted all of the pillars, all of the wooden pillars with the light brown color and then all of the remaining wood with the dark brown color, with the exception of the stuff that kind of makes up our roof, I have painted with the forest color. Now I've left all the stone alone. As far as decorations go, I've just kind of scattered a few things around the outside just to kind of give it a little bit more clutter. And then obviously we have brought all of our dire wolves in. You can fit, you know, comfortably three on each side of each pen. So 12 total, but you could probably cram a few more in there if you really wanted to. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Leave me some feedback in the comments below. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future arc. Let's build videos. Also, guys, make sure you check out the description below for a link to my Twitter as well as my discord and go ahead and join me there where you can hang out, chat, share pictures of your builds, give me building suggestions, all kinds of stuff, guys. But anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just once again want to tell you thank you so much for being here today. Check out the video and have a great day.